Hello guys, I'm Jojo. This is Tumi. Welcome back to Vinyl Anatomy. Today is a special episode about cleaning. So I might need to send this guy to other place in the house so his fur won't interfere with what we're doing today. So what we're doing today is cleaning your stylus. So a lot of time we've heard people talking about cleaning their records, but we don't hear much about cleaning the stylus. But in fact, a stylus can make or break records. I'm gonna show you guys several methods that the community use that's kind of common. And also we have a digital microscope here that can show you what's going on on the stylus and which methods cleaning them the best. And I found an unconventional way of cleaning the stylus the other day. Some people might find this kind of iffy, but I'll use it as a bonus to show you guys what this is. So stay tuned. Tumi, can you, can you get down please? Yep. Now, you can see the uh, bigger screen is actually the microscope. And I'm in tuning the focus ring right here. And I have two uh, stylus today. One is the really common and loved 1895E. And one is the LP gear upgrade the carbon tip. Pretty small, tiny here. And I intentionally make them pretty dirty so you can really see how the cleaning method works. Now, let me put the 1895E down here first. Okay. Whew. You already see that's pretty crazy out of focus. This is how the tips looks like right now. That is filthy. You see all kind of weirdness and hair attaching on there. This is done by uh, about like six to seven times playing a really dirty records I know in my collection that's just really hard to clean. And you already can see how crazy it gets. The shape of the tip is just unrecognizable. Take a look. And if I use another light to kind of lit up, you can see how crazy it is. And they sound pretty bad in this condition. And we're gonna clean it today. So let's introduce our contender, the several different cleaning methods. So first, our contender is this tiny brush. Sometimes you get this uh, from your turntable or a cleaning kit. They're pretty useful. And our second contender is this. This is the Unzo Zero Dust. This is a really common and like popular one in the community. And the third one is recently a lot of people start using it is the Magic Eraser. Personally, I was a little bit iffy about this because I know the way Magic Eraser cleaning is actually, they're acting like super fine sandpaper and kind of scraping off a really thin layer of your surface. That's how they clean. And my final and weird method is this. This is a jewelry or eyeglasses ultrasonic cleaner. A lot of people will find like kind of weird using this to clean your stylus, but we're gonna see how good or how bad it does. Let's start with the tiny brush. So when cleaning using the tiny brush, you want to follow the uh, direction of the records going. So you want to go from the back of your cantilever to go to the front. You don't want to go like weird motion here and there. They can like bend the cantilever if you are not careful. So I'm going to try to do it under the microscope and you can see. So now we can see here, you want to go from the back to force. You can probably take out a lot of loose stuff. Okay, you can see the bigger kind of like fuzzy stuff already taken out by this little brush here. So we're gonna go from the back to the fourth, from the back to the front. But you can see some of them just stick on there pretty nasty and doesn't go away. So if your solid is kind of dirty, sometimes this will not be enough. I can keep doing it, it might take out more, Look, so, so now I take out a little bit more and you can see the tip. So right now, after several scraping, you can see the tip here, but there's still some gunky stuff on top of there that cannot be taken out by the little brush. Let's give it a top-down view. You can see here, clearly there's still other stuff 
sticking onto your stylus and they will affect the playback of your vinyl for sure. And you can also take a look on the top of the brush. Here is a better view of all those gunk taken out by the little brush. So if you have something that's like loose and kind of just like kind of stick onto your uh, stylus, this little brush is definitely useful. The second method, so when I'm researching about different cleaning methods, there are some discussion about dealers or retailers, they try to phase out zero dust because they were saying the accident bound to happen, that the stickiness of the zero dust can destroy your uh, cartridge. If they you know, dip it too deep or you know, too aggressively, it can like break the cantilever or you know, break your tip. But to me, I think that's kind of like, eh, not so true. Especially when you just attaching your uh, shell holder on your turntable and just you know, dip it like lightly, that thing shouldn't happen. And this is still one of the really reliable one of cleaning your stylus. And now we're gonna see how it works. So normally when we're using this, you want to kind of just dip into it like two times really lightly. You kind of want to see, slightly see the ripple or you know, the surface slightly like, changing and then you just lift it up. Okay, let's dip it two times here. One, two. So that kind of dipping into the gel. Now, let's see. Okay, so here is the tip after two times of dipping into the zero dust. Let's see the side of it. Okay, you can still see at the front here, there's still other things sticking on the tip of your stylus, it's not totally clean. Let me try to dip it a little bit more to see if we can get it out. Do another dip two times and different angle. You can see the thing is still up there clearly, but the tip is definitely way better than when we started. Still not totally clean right now. If there's something like really stubborn stuff, just stick on there. The zero dust might not be able to take it out. And also a fun thing is zero dust cap, they always have this uh, like a magnifier cap so you can kind of see if it's doing a good job of cleaning it. Kind of like this, you can kind of take a look, but no, not as crazy as using a digital microscope. Now the third method is the magic eraser here. So I've bought the cheapest one I can find at Home Depot, which is the magic eraser sheets that you can kind of like peel it off. What I learned from the internet or you know, just the community is you not only want to dip your stylus in there, but also kind of like rotating it or like moving around to let the magic sheet to kind of scrape off the stuff. I'm a little bit scared to be honest. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna tip really lightly, gently put it into the magic eraser and kind of slightly scraping it off the stuff. Okay. Just some really light scraping and let's see how it does. Here is the tip after some really light scraping under the magic eraser. Let's take a look on the side and see if there's gunk taken out by it. You can clearly see the front craziness. Let me hand print. The front that the uh, zero dust didn't clean out was scraping off by the metric eraser. So it's actually doing pretty darn good job to kind of clean out those stubbornness sticking on the tip. But you can see on the cantilever, there's still some like yellow gunk sticking there. With the light, we can better see that the tip is in the cleaner than before. But you can still see some black gunk uh, sticking at the roots of your diamond tips and some other thing on the cantilever. What uh, I learned from the internet as well is that you want to use the zero dust combined with the magic sheet to clean out a residue or thing that magic sheet can leave on your tip. 
So we're not going to do that. Just going to dip it lightly into the magic. Dip it lightly into the zero dust and see how it does. So right now I did several dip on the tip. So you can see the tip is pretty good, looking pretty good right now. And I think the amount of like cleanness right now should give you a pretty good playback for your records already. Although it's not like totally spotless clean. You can still see the yellow gunk up there. Let me do a little bit more scraping on the magic eraser. Let's see what it does. Okay. We can clearly see the tip. You can see the shiny part. That's your tip. And the side. I'm gonna do one more dip onto the zero dust. And here you go. This is what all this mess I can do. So at this point, I think your record can play pretty nicely for sure. And now let's see the final weird method. So when I was researching different methods of cleaning the stylus, I actually reached out to a professional turntable repairman who does his own stylus and cartridge and you know, cleaning and repairing the records and the turntable itself. His method was even more scary than using the jewelry cleaner. He will use small piece of paper, kind of scrape off the dirty on top of the uh, stylus and he also used bronze wire brush to scrape off the yunky junky out of stylus that people just scare the heck out of it. I think the ultrasonic is not that crazy compared to the professional skill repairman what he does. Now let's move on to the final method that using a jewelry or eyeglasses cleaner or whatever you want to call it to clean your stylus. Although using ultrasonic cleaner like this to clean your stylus is really unconventional and people will be really iffy, but actually using an ultrasonic device to clean your stylus isn't a new concept. In 1970s, there's a lot of company creating this small gadget that have like a small fill pad and then they dip the uh, solution on top and put their stylus into it to clean their stylus. And right now, I think there's still like one or two companies still doing it but they're mainly gone. So the reason why people are worried about using ultrasonic is because ultrasonic are actually vibrations and inside your cartridge, there are magnets or coil taking the uh, signal, the stylus reading on the records and it become like vibration to affect the magnetic or coil in there to make sounds. And they think the vibration of ultrasonic through time can damage the magnet and also that might be able to degrade the glue that using to glue the diamond tips. When I'm using this, I would not put my cartridge with the stylus. I will only clean the tip of the stylus just using the ultrasonic vibration to get the dirty stuff out. Found this the other day, like my record sounds really weird. I use uh, Anzo Zero Dust kind of religiously every time I play, but it's still the craziness accumulate on top of that that just this cannot clean. We can see on digital microscope as well. So it's like, I just try this. And the result was pretty amazing. And let's do it right now. This is not a paid promotion or anything. This is just a really experimental stuff that I found kind of interesting, gonna share with you guys. And the next thing is the water you use in this, because I'm in Texas and the water here is not good. I would suggest if you want to try doing this, please use distilled water or, you know, LBs filter water so that you can avoid possible weird residue live on top of your stylus. What I do here will be I kind of dip the tip into the water to just you know making it start have the ripple. So I know that the tip is indeed touching the water and let the vibration take care of it and not touching any other part of your stylus. So if you feel afraid of doing this, Please do not do, but if you have some like cheaper stylus that you want to try this message, you no, know, go ahead. So we have another tip here that I just gonna use the ultrasonic and see 
if it can remove all the craziness just in like several touch. Let's just have some fun and try. Gonna turn on the ultrasonic and you're gonna see from the phone. Okay, you can see all the gun kind of like vibrated out. Just by touching the water. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you guys a tip before. Damn it. <laughs> See, there's still something that hasn't been taken out by the uh, ultrasonic. Let's do it one more time. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And several zero dust dip. Let's see. That is the tip right now. You can see all the gunk part out and the tip is shiny so let's take a closer look you can see tips looks flawless that is just ultrasonic and a little bit of zero dust tip there's almost nothing attaching on the stylus no matter how dirty it is because this thing was like as dirty as that 1895e before here is the 8095e let me take it here clean spotless like this oh. what do we learn from this all the methods here works that's kind of rank it this one the small brush is kind of the primal care that if there's just something like big on top you can kind of scrape it off but if anything that stick on the tip where it reads the records this probably couldn't take it off away and i feel the unsol zero dust probably on the third place that for daily maintenance this is really convenient you just know dip it in it can take most of the stuff out but if there's something like it need more cleaning power seeing the magic eraser somehow take that spot you can kind of like scrape it off so for the ultrasonic cleaner i think this is kind of still a joker option that you can use it you know once a while to really do like a dip clean i just want the tip to look you know shiny and like really nothing attached on there that can really do it can really do the magic so i can really see the tips shiny after using the ultrasonic that is, you know, the Magic Eraser or Anzo Zero Dust can't really achieve that. But sometimes you can see, like, the first time I dip it with the uh, carbon tip, there's still some stubbornness doesn't want to come off. So you might need to do, like, several times or, you know, just do the safer option, use the uh, Magic Eraser and the Zero Dust combined. That probably will give you pretty close, similar effect as the ultrasonic. So, you can say this is you know, useless, you don't have to try it, don't have to risk it since if your um, cut cartridge cannot take off the stylus or they're like super expensive, you don't want to risk it, definitely don't do it. So this is kind of like more like a fun experiment to see what a machine like this can do for your stylus. It did the job for me and you use it at your own risk. After all this cleaning method, we got pretty nice stylus here that's clean and spotless. Let's go enjoy some record because no matter how clean your record is with a dirty stylus your record will sound muddy and the high will be gone because that uh, the tip is kind of covered by junk and everything will sound muddy in the last resolutions so a clean stylus is really important i hope you find this info amusing and this episode interesting and learn something we'll see you next time <laughs>